Hello everybody. In this screencast I want to discuss with you how we can find out how close a reaction is to its equilibrium. Now let's assume we have a, a reaction, obviously a reversible reaction with several components. So we've got A plus B is in, is in a reversible reaction produces C plus D. We can call this the forward uh, reaction and this one would be the reverse reaction. Now we know that for an equilibrium when we wait long enough we know that the forward reaction equals the reverse reaction like that and we can write our equation for this equilibrium, so let's call it Cp times concentration of d to the power of r. Very often these coefficients or, or exponents, I should say, are, are 1, but they don't have to be. Uh, divided by a to the power of m times b to the power of n. And if this is the case, if the forward and the reverse reaction are the same, then we can write that this is the equilibrium constant. And sometimes we can indicate this with these indices zero here, which means that uh, we've reached the equilibrium. Right, what happens if we don't wait long enough? Then obviously um, we have more A and B then we should have compared to C and D. So if V1 is not the same as the reverse reaction, we obviously have a different ratio. So we've got Cp times dr over concentration of A to the power of m times b to the n. Sometimes people abbreviate that with a t to indicate that we have not reached the equilibrium. And this expression is abbreviated with the capital Greek delta and it's also called the mass action ratio. We can find this mass action ratio by measuring the concentrations of C, D, A and B at a certain time point and then compare this to the concentrations that we would expect when we wait long enough for the reaction to establish its equilibrium. Once we have done that, we can compare the mass action ratio with the um, equilibrium constant and we can say we form the, act, the, the ratio between the mass action ratio and the equilibrium constant and this is usually uh, abbreviated with rho. Now there are two different uh, scenarios that we can think of. So if rho equals 1 we know that the mass action ratio is the same as the equilibrium constant here. So this means that our reaction has already reached the equilibrium and uh, the reaction is close or at equilibrium. The second case is that rho is smaller than 1 or much smaller than 1. So this means that the concentrations in the mass action ratio have not yet reached the equilibrium. So we are not at equilibrium. And therefore, we take a snapshot of the concentrations way before the equilibrium happens. And there are some implications for that for biotechnology.